the difference between a credit score and a FICO score? Hey guys, this is Dash, and this is Mind Over Finance. We're gonna keep this video short and sweet today. I'm no credit expert, but this is a question that I had for myself, so I thought we'd do some digging. And hopefully, it'll help somebody else out there to understand the difference too. First, let's take a look at the definition of a credit score. From Investopedia, a credit score is a number ranging from 300 to 850 that depicts a consumer's credit worthiness. The higher the credit score, the more attractive the borrower. A credit score is based on credit history, number of open accounts, total levels of debt, and repayment history. Lenders use credit scores to evaluate the probability that an individual will repay loans in a timely manner. So essentially your credit score is this number that lets lenders know to what extent they can trust you to pay back the money that they lend you. And while it may not be a perfect system, how you've handled your debts in the past are a pretty decent indicator of how you're gonna handle new loans, at least in lenders' eyes. But it makes a lot of sense. And next, let's look at the definition of a FICO score. Also from Investopedia, a FICO score is a type of credit score created by the Fair Isaac Corporation. Lenders use borrowers' FICO scores along with other details on borrowers' credit reports to assess credit risk and determine whether to extend credit. FICO scores take into account various factors in five areas to determine credit worthiness. Payment history, current level of indebtedness, types of credit used, length of credit history, and new credit accounts. And your FICO score is also a number from 300 to 850 that lets lenders know how trustworthy you are or how credit worthy you are. So if your credit score is this number from 3 to 850 that tells how credit worthy you are and your FICO score is this number from 300 to 850 that says how credit worthy you are, what the hell's the difference? So I went hunting around to do my research and what I found is there's no really clear line that tells you the difference between your FICO score and your credit score. The biggest difference I see is in how they're calculated. So your credit score is gonna come from one of the three major credit bureaus. That's Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. And a good way to remember those is the acronym EAT. In FICO, the Fair Isaac Company isn't one of the official bureaus, but the Fair Isaac Company is partnered in some way or connected in some way to each of those bureaus. And according to their website, back in 1991, the FICO credit risk scores were made available to all of the major credit bureaus. So I think back then, back in 91, that's when the FICO score, the FICO analytics became much more valued, much more trusted. Because I remember back in the day hearing about Beacon scores and I don't really hear much about them anymore. I'm sure they're probably still a thing, but that's just another model. So the big difference between your FICO score and your credit score is just how they're calculated. They're both two different models that calculate a snapshot score of your credit history at a single point in time. And just a quick note about FICO scores. So when I went to myfico.com to pull my own FICO score, I was expecting to see one number and I thought maybe, oh, this will be my FICO score. But that's not what I got. I got several different versions of my three scores from the different credit bureaus. Because FICO is this analytics company, I think it's just kind of partnered up with each of these three credit bureaus and it gives its version of your credit score based on the numbers from each one of those agencies. But to be honest, I don't really think you need to worry about the difference between your credit score and FICO score. They're related. I don't know anybody who's like, my credit score is bad, but my FICO score is good. No, if your credit is bad, your FICO score is bad. Believe me, I know firsthand. I follow the whole middle score approach where you just take the middle score from the three bureaus because it keeps you from having to do all that worrying and fussing. You know, the numbers are gonna be slightly different from bureau to bureau, but by and large, if you've got good credit, you've got good credit. I know today's video was a little bit short, but hopefully you still got something from it. It's a question I definitely had, and hopefully you're a little bit clearer on the difference between your FICO score and your credit score. And I'll catch you in the next video.